this transmission's trips to the store video has been brought to you with the help of listeners like you. Without Patreon support, transmissions wouldn't be the show it is today. You can sign up for our Patreon at www.transmissionspodcast.com slash support. Welcome to the Transmissions Trips to the Store, where we show off all the awesome Transformers stuff we got this week. This video is part of our weekly Transmissions podcast. You can check that out at www.transmissionspodcast.com. We do two shows every week. Every Wednesday, we do a toy-focused show, Transformers Toys. That's called Transmissions. Every Friday, we do a comics and media show. That's Transmissions Alt Mode. So Trips to the Store is part of the main Transmissions toy show. So if you're watching this, hopefully you're listening to the podcast. And if you're not, go check us out at our website. Take a listen. Hope you enjoy it. Transmissions is fully funded and supported by our listeners on Patreon. Thank you to all the listeners who contribute. We really appreciate it. It's through your efforts and monetary considerations that we have been able to unlock Transmissions Declassified. So that is a new Patreon-exclusive show you get once a month. And we've got three episodes out so far and more coming. Uh, a new one every month. Uh, this week, uh, unfortunately, Yoshi couldn't join us, but we do have Greg from the Unfunny Nerd Tangent. Greg, thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. I've, uh, yeah, I've had to fill in for Yoshi, so hopefully, yeah, I, uh, hopefully you'll have me back. <laughs> Not we like, we like to start our fill-ins with a low bar to cross. Yeah, I was like, mm, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'll just, just be Yoshi, all right. <laughs> I should have brought my hat, yeah. <laughs> I can't do his uh, his little squeal, so <laughs> sorry, guys. You just edited it in. The Yoshi which... yodel. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> just throw that in in post. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna start off with Jeremy. What do you got this week? All right. Uh, so what I got this week? Um, I got some comics. Um, Transformers First Strike, which we are going to be discussing in alt mode this week and this is the Sarah Petra Duro shake cover it is amazing and then I also I didn't think I had bought this cover of Lost Light number one but I had so I now have a second copy of the um, the homage to the classic Justice League um, that it seems to be like every every series since more than meets the eye has homage this at least once and then my store had a stack of these Chic Hydrobot Transformer books, so I've got a couple of them. Um, I imagine we could find some way to give one away if someone wants it. So, and then we did a lot. You didn't of, pay money for those, did you? No, 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 no. They they were free. Okay. Actually, <laughs> because on there free, and I think they were just trying trying to get rid of them, so there was just a stack of them there by the window. Um, and then we, we did a lot of talking about the movie Barricade uh, in the toy show with the Masterpiece stuff. And I recently picked up a movie Barricade and I thought I'd show it off. I got this little Hasbro Speed Stars. <laughs> and he's transformed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just, just like the, that. It's, it's the Hasbro version of Hot Wheels. Yeah. And I got this for a buck. Yeah, I figured, you know, it'll be a car the kid can play with, but it's a Transformer. It actually says Barricade on there. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera, but, you know, I just, I didn't have a toy to show off, and I saw we were talking about Barricade, so I'm like, hey, it's a good time to bring that out. So that's all I got. All right. <laughs> well, Greg, uh, you're guest hosting with us, so uh, you haven't been here in uh, the last 250 weeks. So yeah. I hope I hope you don't have too much of a backlog to show us. But uh, show us what you got. <laughs> I figured uh, that since I, I my guest, you know, you guys have had me on as a guest, I would just sort of show a couple of things that I've got that I, I think are, are pretty cool. Uh, it's funny that you showed that comic, Jeremy, because, yeah, I've got 
my cover of well, uh, issue one of More Than Meets the Eye there with the, mm-hmm. with, like Same we said, with, with the, uh, yeah, with the Justice League um, homage. And on the same day I picked that up, I got uh, Lost Light number one, which is pretty cool. They didn't have Robots in Disguise number one, otherwise I would have grabbed that as well, but I have to keep my eye out for that so I can sort of have the three together. That's my plan. Um, a few years ago, uh, Peter Cullen came to Brisbane, and I was lucky enough to, to go meet him, and uh, he signed my Optimus Prime trailer. I don't know if you can nice. see that there. Oh. Cool. He asked me yep. what transformer so rollout. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So I thought I'd. Uh, <laughs> is that the one you had from a kid, or is it a reissue? No, that's a reissue. Yeah, yeah, but you know, Probably whatever. Shape. And I didn't have master. I, I have masterpiece Optimus Prime now, but uh, at the time I didn't. So I, I got that one. If I had masterpiece Prime, I would have got him to sign that trailer. But anyway, uh, and I know this isn't Transformers, but. Yoshi said that I could do it because, in his words, fucking Daryl. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I figured this would be pretty cool anyway, just because of, of what it is. Uh, three or four, when was it? Three days ago, we had the Supernova um, Comic Con Expo here in Brisbane, and Stan Lee came out. So, of course, I had to meet Stan Lee. So that was, that was me there. Was Stan, Stan the man, and my dad, who was keen to see him. Nice. So, yeah, he just sort of sat there and, and, you know, did his thing, but that was pretty sweet. And, of course, I had to get him to sign uh, my copy of Spider-Man that I've got there. You can see the uh, autograph, Spider-Man number 70 from 1969, which is pretty cool. I need to get it in a proper board and stuff. And uh, I also have this Spider-Man statue that i have amongst all the other dc and marvel stuff i've got so he sort of pops off there like that so i got stan to sign that as well nice as a little you know something extra for the cabinet so so yeah that's what i got <laughs> that, i figure that stanley was... counts because spider-man was in transformers issue three or, or i think it was years ago in the, the marvel the, the marvel issues were like stanley presents the transformers yeah there you go so yeah, it kind of counts. But if not, yeah. <laughs> and, Yoshi said I could. <laughs> <laughs> and regardless of what any, any of the rest of us did, you beat us on, on price combined. Oh, well, yeah. But over years, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. What was Stanley charging for autographs this time? Uh, it was $150. For it keeps going up. <laughs> so much. It, it was comparable to... when he was here for Wizard World recently. Yeah. Well, they, they had a, they had a package yeah. that was like four hundred bucks. Too. They had that as well. There was a package that was around four hundred or four fifty or something, and you got like a lithograph and yeah, you got all these bonuses, a, a, a lanyard thing, and, and and it included a photo and a and a signature. But um, yeah, if signatures were um one fifty and the photos were two hundred, so. Yeah. Wow! Wow! So but thank it's cool. Yeah. It's so a cool the, experience. Mm, definitely. Yeah. So you, yeah. So you got two things signed. That means you had to pay twice. Oof. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thankfully, I won. I won my tipping comp uh, at work. So the money from that that I won went to stand. So yeah, <laughs> that helped. <laughs> That helped me decide between the comic or the statue, and I was like, "Well, I won five hundred bucks. I guess it's both." <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. cool. It doesn't it, it was basically free money? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. But yeah, but uh, yeah, two hundred bucks for the photo. That's the dearest I've seen at at these conventions. Normally, it's like fifty dollars for an autograph, sixty dollars for a photo. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I mean, Peter, Cullen, this... Peter Cullen was fifty dollars to sign my Prime statue, uh, st- Prime trailer, and sixty dollars for a photo. You know, yeah, so. but I mean, this is like Stan Lee's last round of conventions. Exactly. Yeah, and he was looking pretty frail too when he was there. So every now and then he sort of sparked up, but yeah, I mean he's ninety-five in about six weeks. So yeah, 
knock on wood <laughs> that's right yeah so no but he he was he was good he was happy enough and he seemed you know cool and it's just nice to be able to you know to to be there and see him so yeah it's pretty cool mm. but yeah expensive so but mm. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do <laughs> yeah no once in a lifetime uh experience that's it we just need uh, Frank Welker to come down now, and I can get him to sign some some other things. That'd be cool. But I hear he's pretty pricey as well. So we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll go next. <laughs> I have nothing to compare to uh, awesome Stan Lee signatures. I just have some more Transformers comics. So, and these are even unbagged and unboarded. So. Since well, Yoshi's here. not here to see this. God <laughs> damn it, Yoshi! <laughs> so, First Strike Transformers, the comic we're going to review in alt mode this week. So, be sure to listen for that on Friday. And this is continuing from the First Strike Optimus Prime a book we reviewed last week. So, makes sense. Optimus Prime number 12... The Kazama cover. So my, my shop doesn't get variant covers anymore. I guess they don't order enough. Uh, so I'm stuck with the regular cover every week. And First Strike number six, the conclusion of the First Strike miniseries. So those are the comics I got this week. So, Daryl, we'll finish it off with you. Okay. Well, I didn't get any comics this week. I showed my comics last week. Um, but uh, I did get a toy. Well, it's it's not new. I had it, I've had it for a while. It's just kind of been sitting in the back there. If you've been paying attention, it's been right up there the whole time. But who cares, really? Um, I have a box Metroplex. G1 box. Uh, yeah. Wow. So I've had this for a little while. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's, uh, it is complete. I think, I even think I have uh, the, the, uh, the instructions and, and everything. I've got all the guns and even the guns for, uh, for all the little guys and stuff like that. So the box is a little worse for wear. There's a little tear on it here. But uh, yeah, it's it's fine. I'm I'm happy with it. It's got a styrofoam insert and everything like that. But uh, it's uh, it's got a price on here, a Toys R Us price of thirty two ninety seven. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's got that great. That's, that's art. not that's that's not even a leader class. <laughs> nope. And you got the tech specs on the back with the robot points, five robot points for Metroplex, which I think. In and of itself was enough to get the uh, the um, reflector figure. Um, yeah, it's just cool. I like having. Well, you uh, spend thirty dollars on a toy, you expect to be able to get a free figure. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. It's uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I do have a uh, a Metroplex that I was building like as a project, and it is now my extra. So there you go. But that's all I got this week been pretty late i've been uh, i've been spending a lot of time watching after looking after a sick kid so it's uh you know haven't been able to get out and do much cool well well not cool that your kid is sick but that's, that's a cool figure the metroplex is cool <laughs> metro FYI, i had that figure when learned, i was we just learned charles is a dick <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have my Metroplex from when I was a kid, although, you know, the leg is missing and all the pieces are missing to it. But I, <laughs> I had a lot of lot of fun times with that Metroplex back in 1986 and 1987. So you have a, a lot, of, lot of battles were... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, well, a lot, a lot of battles were, were won and lost in Autobot City, you know, back in back in the 80s. So That's true. You send me some pictures of, our, of, of yours, I might be able to get you some parts and Use your you can use your engineering degree to put it together. 
All right, I'll, I'll, I'll write. I'll write. I'll write some software to, to assemble it for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll do it for trips to the store. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, uh, we want to remind you that we are fully supported by our Patreon listeners and subscribers. So thank you to everyone who contributes to the Patreon and PayPal. PayPal donors are also awesome as well. Uh, thank you to Greg from the Unfunny Nerd Tangent. Check out uh, his podcast. Uh, we'll have links uh, in the description below and also on uh, on the episode show notes as well. And uh, Greg had us on, uh, had, had myself and Yoshi on uh, for their Transformers-themed episode a few months ago. So uh, we'll have a link to that if you haven't checked that out yet. So, uh, you know, check out Greg, and hopefully we'll have you back in the future. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>